When an acid is added to an alkali, salt and water are produced. This reaction is called the neutralization reaction. The acid is said to be neutralized when all hydrogen ions from the acid combine with the hydroxide ions from the alkali to form water molecules. But how much alkali is needed to ensure all hydrogen ions present are neutralized? This can be done through titration. Titration is a quantitative analysis method to determine the volume or the concentration of an acid needed to be neutralized by a fixed volume of an alkali. In this method, all materials must be accurately measured. Thus, a burette is used to add acid into an alkali in a measured way. The alkali then is accurately measured and transferred into a conical flask using a pipette. How can we tell the exact point when all hydrogen ions present are neutralized? The point when all hydrogen ions from an alkali combine with hydrogen ions from an acid to form water molecules is called endpoint. Since both the reactants and products formed are colorless, we can only determine the endpoint with the help of an acid base indicator like phenolphthalein. Let's carry out an activity to determine the endpoint in titration of 1.0 mole per cubic decimeter hydrochloric acid and 25.0 cubic centimeter of 1.0 mole per cubic decimeter sodium hydroxide. Clamp a 50 milliliter burette to a retort stand. Place a filter funnel and open the stopcock. Rinse the burette twice with 5 cubic centimeter of hydrochloric solution. Close the stopcock and fill the burette with 50 cubic centimeters of hydrochloric acid. Open the stopcock to fill the tip of the burette with hydrochloric solution and to remove bubbles. Place an empty beaker under the burette. Now the burette is ready to be used. Rinse the pipette. Withdraw 2 to 3 cubic centimeters sodium hydroxide solution with a pipette bulb. Invert the pipette to a horizontal position. Turn and tip the pipette so all inside surfaces have come into contact with the solution. Then drain out and discard the solution. Squeeze the pipette bulb to empty out the air. Then slip the bulb on the flat end of the pipette. Place the pipette into the solution, slowly releasing the pressure on the bulb but maintaining a seal between the bulb and the pipette. Watch the solution rise in the pipette. Do not let any solution get into the bulb. Draw the solution in, above the mark on the neck of the pipette. Quickly remove the pipette bulb and put your thumb on the end of the pipette. Release pressure from your thumb very slightly so that the liquid level slowly drops. Once the bottom of the meniscus has reached the calibration mark on the pipette, press down firmly with your thumb. Transfer the pipette to the conical flask and remove your finger from the pipette. Put the tip of the pipette in the conical flask and drain sodium hydroxide solution into the flask. Allow the solution to drain at its own rate. Once it stops draining, touch pipette tip to the side of the conical flask. Do not blow out the remaining solution. The pipette has been calibrated with the last drop left inside. Take the burette initial reading. Record it to two decimal places. For example, 10.90 cubic centimeter. The initial reading does not need to be at zero. Place 25 cubic centimeter of sodium hydroxide solution in a clean conical flask. Add three drops of phenolphthalein. Note the color changes. Place the conical flask on a white tile so that any color changes can be observed. Then place it under the burette. Carefully turning the stopcock, add small amounts of hydrochloric acid to the flask. Continuously swirl the flask to completely mix the two solutions. Continue additions until one drop of titrating solution causes a color change which lasts for at least 30 seconds. This is the end point of the titration. Record the final volume reading of the burette in your notebook and calculate the total volume of titrating solution that has been added. Record the initial and the final burette readings. Now, calculate the average volume of hydrochloric acid added. Acid-based titration is used to find the concentration of an acid or a base. 
to solve numerical problems involving neutralization, you must be able to write chemical equations for the reactions. Then, work out the moles of the alkali using the concentration formula. Next is to look at the ratios of the acid and base in the original equation, the stoichiometry. Lastly, find out the concentration of the acid. In this example, you are required to calculate the concentration of hydrochloric acid used in the acid-base titration. We are going to use a table to solve this problem. This will help you to see and understand what is going on. Later, you might not need this table. Let's begin with step number one. Now, key in all the information given, the volume and the concentration of the solution. Now, calculate the number of moles of sodium hydroxide in a given volume. Next, the stoichiometry and the calculated moles. Calculate the number of moles of sodium hydroxide. Then, calculate the number of moles of hydrochloric acid. Lastly, rearrange the concentration formula to solve the problem. In this example, you are required to calculate the volume of sulfuric acid used in the acid-base titration. Key in the chemical equation. Now, key in all the information given, the volume and the concentration of the solution. Now, calculate the number of moles of sodium hydroxide in a given volume. Next, the stoichiometry and the calculated moles. Calculate the number of moles of sodium hydroxide. Then, calculate the number of moles of sulfuric acid. Since the sodium hydroxide and sulfuric acid are in a 2 to 1 ratio, so, if there are 0.025 moles of the sodium hydroxide, the sulfuric acid then must also be half of 0.025 moles. Add this to the table. Lastly, Rearrange the concentration formula to solve the problem. In this lesson, you have learned that an acid is neutralized when an alkali is added to it. Titration is a quantitative analysis method to determine the volume or the concentration of an acid needed to be neutralized by a fixed volume of an alkali. End point is a point when all hydroxide ions from an alkali combine with hydrogen ions from an acid to form water molecules. There are three methods to determine the end point of titration using acid base indicators such as phenolphthalein and methyl orange, measurement of pH value of the solution using computer interface, and measurement of electrical conductivity of the solution. Numerical problems involving neutralization can be solved by using formula MAVA over MBVB equals to A over B, where A stands for acid and B stands for base.